Igbos are not our problem. Donald Trump compared to Mr. P2B. Hello guys, welcome back once again to our YouTube channel. You know, when I tell majority of my Yoruba friends that they should not allow the Yoruba only people to deceive them that the Igbos are the problem they are facing in the southwestern region. That the Igbos are never their problem, especially in Lagos State. Remember what happened? I'm going to sh show you everything, even how Donald Trump was compared to Mr. P2B and Co. Remember what happened during the 2023 presidential election? Because of Tinibu's ambition, he recruited some big girls like Bayo Onano Ganko and Fanny uh, Fani, uh, Fani Kayode to you know, incite the Yorubas against the Igbos because they saw that there was no possible way they could win the 23 presidential election if, especially in the southern region, you know, they went to the northern region and played the religious card by choosing a Muslim Muslim ticket, something that, that has never happened in the country. When they came to the southern region, they were asking themselves, what are we going to do? Because P2B is a very strong contender. They said, okay, fine, let us incite ethnic and religious uh, ethnic tension between the Igbos and the Yorubas. Remember, the Igbos and the Yorubas have never had any single issue before. They've been having living peacefully. These people have the highest level or number of intermarriages. They do marry this thing. A lot of prominent Yorubas, uh, Adeleke family and co, um, are married to uh, Igbos. The same way, they are, they've been living peacefully. But when the Yoruba only people, especially Tinibu supporters, saw that they can no longer win the southern region, they decided to incite this ethnic hatred between the Igbos and the Yorubas. And they said that the Igbos want to take over Lagos State, Yoruba Ronu. A word, the Yoruba Ronu was actually, you know, in, uh, uh, created by Awolo them for them to use to develop their region and, you know, promote positivity in their region. But Balai like Metinibu supporters came and changed the whole Yoruba Ronu to something else. I'm going to show you what happened and how they compared Donald Trump to uh, Mr. Pitobi. Meanwhile, if this is your first time of coming here, please and please don't hesitate as a matter of fact to click on the notification button so you get notified whenever we drop important information and updates like this. Now, let's head back straight to the point. As you can see on the screen, I said, we have no problem with Igbos. It is the Southwesterners that are, that are our problem. This is what Lagos indigenous are saying. This is what Lagos indigenous are saying. Remember during the 20th presidential election, they said that Igbos want to take over Lagos State. And you keep on wondering, who, who has ever made that particular statement? And now it's Igbos trying to take over Lagos State. Now, the Lagos indigenous have come out to say that the owners of Lagos, the indigenous of Lagos, have come out to say that, that Igbos, that they have no problem, that we have no problems with Igbos. Now, let me read in proper context. And they, they said that it is the Southwesterners, the Yoruba Runu people in the Southwest are the ones that are their problems. Because these people know what these Runu people want to do. Some of them, some of them, like the, the, those that started, before I even read the full context, some of them that started the Igbo Moscow agenda was because they want these people to go so they can inherit their properties free of charge. That is why some of them started the Igbo Moscow agenda, which everybody condemned. Both the Yorubas and Igbos condemned it. Some of the Yoruba Runi people are having some devilish mindset that they want to take over the properties of some non-indigenous of Lagos State by, by trying to say Igbos and other people must go from the Lagos State. Look at what these people said. They said, according to a report by Vanguard, they, they, uh, the Renaissance Patros Foundation, which is a group that represents Lagos natives, Lagos natives, remember most of these Yoruba Runi people are not even indigenous of Lagos State. They said that, which is a group that represents Lagos natives, declared on Tuesday that it does not have any problems with Igbos, Igbo residents in the state, but that is but that it is consigned about Yorubas from other southwestern states. The Yorubas they are talking about here is the Yoruba only people, not all Yorubas. There are a lot of millions of thousands and thousands of beautiful, lovely and accommodating Yorubas here and there. They are very wonderful people. We are only talking about the Raska Yoruba Runi people that we are deceived by Bolami Tinibu's presidential ambition that went through because of Tinibu's ambition. So they said that they are, that, that, they, that the, they does not have any problems with Igbo residents in the state, but that it is concerned about Yorubas from the southwestern state, which is the Yoruba Runi people. They said something in proper concept. In a statement, the organization expressed its major concern regarding the presence of non-indigenous Yorubas in key position in Lagos. He said, in the course of his, in the in the course of his trip to Ikuru, they said, in the course of his trip to Ikuru, the president of the organization, being this uh, Lagos natives, being Mr. Mifta Bolaji in our area, stated that there are individuals from the southwestern state that who are not natives of Lagos who hold major offices in in the state, are voiced the group's dissatisfaction with the persons in question, ac accusing them of trying to take advantage of opportunities while pretending to be natives of Lagos. You know, these people, the natives of Lagos are saying that they, that they are, they are keep important positions in Lagos State, where some people from other Yoruba states are actually occupying. You know, they are arguing that they, that the uh, Yoruba po political position should be, you know, the Lagos political position should be reserved only for them that are Lagos indigenous. This is what they are clamoring for. They said something, they, they said that Ari, Ari being this particular the, uh, president of this group said claims that the group has grown wary of these non-indigenous folks and will no longer tolerate the antis, particularly when they pretend to be from Lagos. This is especially true when they claim to be coming from Lagos. He made the observation that they 
that the, perpetu that the perpetuation of this deception has resulted, resulted in the marginalization of genuine Lagos natives. You know, by now, we shouldn't have been having this kind of statement that Lagos indigenous, uh, uh, if you're not a Lagos indigenous, you should not contest. But because of how the Yoruba Rumi people and a lot of people in Nigeria have, you know, you know, uh, 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 um, made everything all about tribe and religion. Of course, if you're Nigerian, you can contest for anything in, in any particular place. But because of what this ethnic and religious bigotry that our politicians used to deceive people, look at what Lagos is in Yoruba land. Of course, even if the Yorubas want to contest for any political position in Yoruba land, it is not a crime. Even if, even if they wanted, even if they wanted to contest in Lagos state, it's not a crime. But because of how polarized. How, how these politicians have used ethnic and religious nations to deceive people. Imagine that Lagos indigenous are saying that some Southwesterners should not come and contest in their region, in their states. Meanwhile, these people are still Yoruba. So, but this is the uh, the disadvantage of trying to create ethnic nation. It will get to the point that even in, inside get to some point that even inside states they will tell you that this person cannot be the governor of my state because he's, he's coming from a certain uh, 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 senatorial zone in the same state. If we continue with this particular leg or probably in this particular direction. This, this Lagos indigenous in summary are saying that Igbos are not their problem. That their problems are because they are saying the Igbos, they, they, so some of the things they said here was that the Igbos, they see the land the Igbos acquired, they legally and legitimately bought it from the landowners in Lagos State. That the Igbos cannot issue the CFO. It's only the uh, Yoruba that issue the CFO uh, uh, out. So the Igbos acquired their properties legitimately. They are only interested in some Southwesterners or some Yoruba, according to them, that. You know, just come to Lagos State and you know occupy a political position. Meanwhile, they are not natives of Lagos State. They are saying that they cannot, as Lagos indigenous, that they cannot go to other Yoruba states within the southwestern states to contest. But this is not the way a country should be ruled. Like I said, according to the Constitution of Nigeria, every Nigerian has the legal right to contest for any political position anywhere the person resides. But because our politicians have politicized everything with ethnicity and religion, imagine what is causing problem. This, this same issue happens in other geopolitical zones. They will tell you, if you're not from my state, despite that we speak the same language, if you're not from my state, you cannot contest. Go to other developed nations in the Western region. You could see how these people, if even if you are being born here, you can go and contest for another election in, in another state, provided you reside in that particular state and you are a citizen of that particular country. So you could see, these people are saying that the Igbos are not their problems. That the Igbos never contest for any political position in Lagos State. That the Igbos never, you know, forcefully take over lands in Lagos State. No, that they always buy it and you know, you know, uh, try to you know, uh, pay, pay before they get the C of O, which is being issued by the Lagos indigenous. So they are interested in uh, the south, some Yoruba Southwesterners that are coming to occupy some political position in Lagos State. But personally, I believe that every Yoruba person and every Nigerian has the right to, as a matter of fact, contest for any political position anywhere, be it in South East, be it in South, so be it in South West, South East, South South North, everywhere in an ideal uh, society, this is the way it should be done. But that is that for that. You know, uh, today, uh, as you can see on the screen, you know, P2B was actually compared to uh, 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 Donald Trump. Uh, they said that uh, today they said that it to be is the Donald Trump of Nigeria, or of, is the Donald Trump fashion of you know Nigeria, and you know this is this, this particular statement was made by the president. Like I've often said, this parliament this government does not even know what to do. They keep on fighting opposition every now and then. They, every slight opportunity. Meanwhile, the economy is crashing. Every other thing is crashing. Look at why they said that uh, P2B, uh, you, you know, is the Donald Trump fashion of uh, American coal. Look at what they said. They said, as you can see on the screen, they said that uh, the, presiden the presidency, imagine what the presidency is with the talking, instead of them to face the reality on that, they said that the presidency has described the 2023 presidential candidate of the Labour Party being P2B as the Nigerian version of former U.S. President and Republican candidate for the U.S. 2024 election being Donald Trump. Remember, the U.S. presidential election is coming forth and Donald Trump is a very strong contender. So they are, they are trying to compare Donald Trump and Mr. Pito. Now look at the reason why the presidents had to do this. They said that the senior special assistant on media and publicity to the president, Bola Tinibu Temitope Ajayi, drew the comparison in a post on social media platform S on Wednesday, you know, this comes following the U.S. presidential debate between Trump. You know, the, yes, then they had a presidential debate between Trump and the Democratic candidate, being uh, Kamala Harris. They said P2B is the Nigerian version of Donald Trump. Like P, like OB, Trump will use the most negative, you know, epithets imaginable to describe a country he wants to lead again, just to make a point and rile up his base. He wrote, 
So the presidency is saying that all the criticism that P2B has been making, that uh, this is the same way that Donald Trump operates, that, that P2B will you know, try to speak bad about the country, to rile up emotions and all, and all that. You know, it's considered that this presidency hates the truth. They want P2B to keep his mouth shut and keep on clapping for the presidency when they are doing the wrong things because P2B keep on exposing their rascalities. How can you be wasting taxpayers' money to buy yachts, to buy private jets when people are in abject poverty? How can you be doing all sorts of rascalities and expect him to keep quiet? When he talks, he's saying he's giving Nigeria a bad name. Meanwhile, you people are the ones giving Nigeria a bad name. You are you people are the ones giving Nigeria a bad name. When he points out to, to, to the wrongs you people are doing, you say that he's giving Nigeria a bad name. You could now imagine what they are saying. That because Donald Trump probably you know likes criticizing uh Joe Biden's government and you know exposing them the same way P2B has been doing. It. Now they are saying that uh, Donald Trump is the uh, P2B is the uh, Nigerian Trump version of Donald Trump or blah 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 blah. So you want an opposition to keep short. Meanwhile, you people are wasting taxpayers' money and making all sorts of wrong policies that have plunged this country into abject poverty, suffering and hardship. If fuel price today is one thirty, uh, every other thing, inflation rate is getting to forty percent, and you expect him to keep quiet and uh, and start saying, "Oh, you people are trying," so that he he, he he doesn't give Nigeria a bad name. Meanwhile, you people are the leaders embezzling money and making bad policies that are giving Nigeria a bad name.